Welcome to Citadel Handicraft Day Project number 101. Don't bother looking for one to a hundred. You'll have a difficult time finding them for good reason. So uh, here we are with our uh, A-frame kayak rack. We've had a request for a blueprint, which I don't have, but we will put below here a link to uh, your material list, your instructions, and your equipment list. Your equipment includes a circular saw with a rip blade, two saw horses, a small square, a drill with a 3 8 bit, a tape measure, a level, 48 inch level preferred, and two wood clamps, four is better, and a hammer. Yes, it's true, we need a hammer. Our material list consists of eight two by sixes, uh, what do they call it, pre-treated lumber, uh, and two 10 foot, two by sixes, which will uh, be cut in half at the lumber yard, preferably. So you're gonna come home with 14 boards. Uh, yeah, here we go. 16 galvanized screw uh, bolts, carriage bolts, which are gonna be four inches long, three eighths, uh, 16 three eighths pointed washers, 16 three inch round washers and nuts and a box of two and a half inch screws. Don't get too close because we haven't got all those screwed in all the way yet. We don't want our customers to see our bathroom. All right, so here's the instructions. We're gonna take our first two eight foot two by sixes and we're going to cut the angle. Uh, well, first off, we're gonna draw a line about 26 inches down from the top. And then at that point, we are going to draw a line that takes us from the top corner to the opposite side, which is gonna give us a an angle, probably of about 11 degrees, but that doesn't matter as long as you cut them all the same. So you're gonna cut these first four boards with this angle here that goes from one corner to the opposite side at about 20, at about the 26 inch mark. Yeah, okay, good. We're gonna have uh, four of those cut and we're gonna put them together just gently with two, your two and a half inch deck screws uh, right about there. So just make them match at the top and get your deck screws in and we'll take it from there a little bit later. All right, we're going to then uh, reinforce this A-frame by uh, adding some strength to it so that we can maneuver it and, and, and continue with the rest of the process. And so how we're going to do that is again, we're gonna draw a line from the top down to uh, your preference. You don't want to make it too high so you can't reach it. This one's 21 inches to the top. So you're going to draw from there a 21 inch line on both of those boards so that you can have some sense of level to your um, first horizontal rack. And we'll tell you about the size of that in just a minute. Um, so we've cut these angles, and I would suggest that while you've got your sawhorse out, now you've got your saw, you cut these three uh, angles, uh, the, these three horizontal racks as well. This one's at 75, 65, 65, 75, 85. Again, 65, 75, and 85. You might as well cut those while you got your saw. And if you want to do something de decorative, put your 45 degree angles on the end. You could leave them blunt if you wanted to, uh, but that's up to you. Add a little style to it. Why not? All right. Um, 65, 75, and 85. Uh, so what we're going to do now is that we've got these uh, all cut and we've got the uh, angles cut and we've got the, the A's formed. We're going to add a uh, couple of screws, deck screws only, to the first horizontal beam, the 65 incher. I would suggest that you draw, you put your screw in uh, about here and here, just enough to reinforce the uh, 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 frame and keep it level. So we're gonna draw this one in first, and then we're gonna go down below here, and we're gonna make sure that our feet are about the same. And this is about 28 inches based on that angle right there. So 28 inches, we're gonna call that the mark. We're gonna keep that mark. We're going to put that screw in there. We're going to make sure that our angle looks good and that our feet are about 28 inches apart. And then we're going to draw that second one in there. Yeah, okay. And I put just a couple more screws in there in the opposite areas that you're going to put your bolts. Add some strength to that. Do the same on the other side. All right. So you've got your two A-frames started and you've got your 
upper beam, the 65 inch are installed. Now you're gonna bring them over and you're gonna take your best guess here uh, that you have uh, some sense of um, level to the ground that you're going to work on. And let's see here, where are we? We're on number, uh, we're on number, we're on number eight. Yeah, so before we uh, bring it over, uh, Jill, come on back here for just a second. Uh, now that we've got that angle established, we need to go back and make sure that we have drawn a line across these bottom feet. We don't want these bottom feet to be angled based on this angle. We want them to be straight. So we're going to take some sort of a straight edge, preferably your 48 inch level. And we're going to draw a line from the outside of this board to the outside of this board. We're going to draw that line and then we're going to cut those feet so that they are resting flat, not resting on the angle. So you're gonna flatten those out by drawing a line to the two far sides and then cutting that angle. Now you're gonna bring them over. Yeah, where are we? Now we're on step uh, nine. We're gonna gently slide them over and we're gonna take the uh, 10 foot cut in half, the, two, the four or five footers that we have, and we're going to uh, uh, stand them up. You're gonna need some help with this. You're going to stand them up and put them in place. And I would suggest that you just put perhaps two, deck screws into the A-frame, not the horizontal rack, but into the A-frame on both sides, on that side and that side. Just put two screws in there each to steady it as she goes. Take your other two five-footers and lay them on the ground so that you know that your feet are vertically level to some extent and that you're at about five foot. Do not try to screw those bottom supports in yet. Lay it on the ground and make sure that your feet are five feet side to side so that you're not putting undue force on what you've already assembled. All right, five foot here, five foot there, screw them in, two, four screws, and uh, you're, you're, you're on your way. Then, let's see here. We're gonna go to uh, uh, step 12, and we're gonna install the second rack down. Now. This is a matter of preference, but what we have established here is we're gonna take the, uh, we're, we're gonna try to make sure that um, our work is as level as possible. So we're gonna measure from here to here, and we see we've got 16 and three quarter, and so we're gonna need to make that mark right about there, which is about 16 and three quarter. Some of that is a result of, uh, some of that is a result of, with these words, whatever. So uh, at this point, what I would suggest on step, uh, where are we here, 13, that you actually take one of your deck screws and perhaps put it in on this corner right here. You've measured this, you've got the mark, you've got your deck screw in. Now we want to make the mark over here, but we also want to check and make sure that this is level. I don't have my level, but you'll have yours. And so you'll want to come to some compromise, whether you want to trust the measurement first or the ground first uh, to make this level. I would suggest that you stick with the measurement that you've created there, 16 and a little less than three quarter, and you do that on both sides so that this is straight. Then you're gonna put in your second deck screw. Don't put any more in for now. Do the same with your third. Uh, measure your distance. There we are again, 16 and three quarter, 16 and three quarter. Actually, that one's a little off, but that's okay. And we're going to put that one on there, both sides. Second and third horizontal beams have been installed. Now we go back and we pick up those two five footers that are on the ground and we put them in place right here, aligning them with the bottom rack. And we make sure that we put in with just two deck screws. Don't overdo the deck screws because we are not absolutely true and level yet. So do that on both sides. At that point, you're pretty well assembled, eh? Yeah. Let's check our instructions here. Make sure that we're in good shape. Um, yeah, we've got the five, we're at, we're at about 17. We're gonna inspect our work for a level and that true fits. Remember, it's wood. Okay, I'm gonna look at you because I know you. <laughs> it's wood. It's a rack. It will settle. And you'll never look at it this close again and neither will anybody else. <laughs> so relax. You did a great job. Now that you've set aside your perfectionist tendencies and patted yourself on the back, go get your drill with your three-inch bit and drill the holes exactly. No, I'm just kidding.
in the center of your racks where they would intersect with the A-frame. What do I mean by that? Is that, well, this, people are gonna see this. And in Jill's place, in Jill's case, it's all the kernels who live here. <laughs> so why not make this look really nice by making sure that you get those three inch holes and bolts drilled right into the center of that piece. I didn't do that because I was, uh, well, it's my first time, so yeah. I'm not a perfectionist, right? Practice. Okay, so you're gonna drill the three H holes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna take your hammer and you're going to um, push your, um, you're gonna put your pointed washer under your carriage bolt and tap that through there, boom, 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 boom. It's probably gonna take a little bit of a tap. You don't wanna use a bigger bit because you want it to be nice and tight, okay? Uh, put your carriage bolt through with the pronged washer and tap it through from the uh, outward side inward and then come to the inside and put in your round washer and your nut. Tighten them all up to the point where everything is just snug. Don't over tighten anything yet. Once you've got all of that in place, and once you've had it snug, then you can go back and tighten everything down. Where are we? We are about um, we are about 19 and 20. Yeah. All right. So if everything is good, tighten it all down, pat yourself on the back, and you're doing good. Um, last thing you want to do is perhaps take your deck screws and your bits and just add a few more screws where you think it might be appropriate. For instance, these inside supports, um, you could use perhaps a third deck screw on the uh, cross supports. You could draw a few in here to make it nice and tight. You could support your work there with uh, with another um, deck screw. And uh, hey, you're done. Uh, load it up with your kayaks. Put <coughs> pose in front of it uh, and send me a pic. Again, down below you'll see these instructions. You'll see your material list. You'll see your uh, tool list and uh, yeah so that's all there is to it thank you for your interest in citadel day project 101 from pyatt lake